Czech writer Karol Kapek had a cold and a touch of fever on a winter's day in 1920. The last thing he needed was to find out that his tea had run out. Wishing there was someone there to refill it, an idea came to him. He typed a word on his typewriter. Robot. Yes, he would write a fictional story about humanoid robots. Machines designed with the intention of helping people. The invention of the word robot was the starting point for the development of humanoid robots like me. Even if those first results of human fantasy were creations that today might appear strange or funny. In the early 20th century, for example, a mechanical trumpeter was created. Some years later, Electro became one of the first humanoid robots. He wasn't very smart, but he was able to smoke a cigarette. Well, unlike Electro, I don't smoke. The Rancho arm from 1963 was the first computer-controlled artificial robotic arm and was designed as a tool for handicapped people. I can also help people in need. In 1979, RB5X robot was equipped with software that enabled it to learn about its environment and to navigate independently. I can find my way around in any room. In 1999, Aiva was created an intelligent and really cute dog robot. Sit down. Asimo was presented in 2002. He is a much respected member of our robotic family. Did you know that Asimo has some incredible features and is even a fantastic dancer? Chess playing robots and computers are becoming more and more advanced. The outstanding technology of Hydra, another creation by PAL Technology, even leaves other robots behind. Check. I must get more practice at this game. Sorry, I presented you some members of our robotic family, but didn't yet introduce myself. My name is Reem B, PAL Technology's latest humanoid robot. I am a part of the evolution and development of humanoid robotics. I was made to help people, and I possess the skills to lighten people's everyday life. I can walk dynamically, recognize and grasp objects, lift weights, and I'm able to orientate myself inside any building. I can speak to people, and I can accept voice commands. I recognize faces and recall appointments as well. Of course, I can bring you a cup of tea too. Carol Kapek would have liked me, I guess. Want to get to know me better? All right. I'm coming.